everybody, it's Oksana, and this is going to be my very, very belated January favorites. I'm sorry I'm doing this so late. I did not get a chance to film this last weekend, and of course now we're into February. But um, I have a few makeup things to talk about, and then I have some non-makeup favorites as well. I don't have a ton of new things to show you guys. There was a lot of things I tried towards the end of the month. Uh, that I have not used the whole month. I will mention um, one thing. I just recently did a video on my 100% pure stuff, but I've had and used most of it for the whole month. I was just waiting on that last lipstick um, that I showed you guys, the pomegranate one, because it was like back ordered or something. So I was waiting to film my video, but I actually had this um, and used this product the whole month. And um, I have this on my lips mixed with their fig lipstick. But it's just a really nice, like, flush of pink kind of color. This is the Lip and Cheek. Yep, Lip and Cheek. Um, that's all it says. <laughs> Stick? I don't know. Um, color in Cranberry. And I think Cranberry is really nice. I wish it had a little more purple to it, uh, but other than that, it works really well, and um, it works great on the cheeks and the lips. I love it on the lips for that like little flush of color, because you know sometimes you are not wearing a lot of makeup, or maybe not even wearing any makeup, and then, of course, some people have, you know, really pigmented lips naturally, but some people don't, and you just want a little flush of color to your lips, and so I love it for that. I kind of just pat it on with my finger, and I put it over um, a lip balm, because it's not moisturizing on its own since it's made, you know, for your cheeks as well. It can't really be all that super moisturizing. Um, but over a lip balm, it works wonderfully. And this is a lip balm that I usually wear. This is my favorite lip balm. I know I've mentioned it before, but it's been a while since I mentioned it. And since it's, you know, winter time and it's cold and dry now, I thought that um, I would bring out my favorite lip balm to show you guys. This is the Hurrah Lip Balm in the Moon Balm, which is blue chamomile vanilla and this one is different it's not just like a scent or a flavor like a lot of them are this one is a special like night treatment balm so it's extra moisturizing <laughs> extra treatment d <laughs> is what i was gonna say but anyways so it is really great if you have dry lips so I wanted to show that to you and then my Juice Beauty foundation, I said I would update you guys on it and I am updating you and I'm including it in my favorites because I love it. It's my favorite. Um, it did start to look a little dry on me when the weather got colder and drier and my skin got drier. So I think that I love this for all seasons except for winter. Because when I first started wearing it, it was like perfect and then my skin just got so dry. It, you know, it's less perfect. <laughs> so um, I've been mixing it with a moisturizer, just my Cebu moisturizer, because I don't mind the fact that it dilutes the coverage. Most days when I'm not really, you know, I'm not filming, I'm not doing anything, it's okay to just have a sheer coverage. Um, I've also mixed it with the tinted moisturizer from Honest Beauty, and it works great with that. So I'm just kind of altering it basically to make it work for now when my skin is dry but then you know in the spring I will be able to use it on its own but so far I'm still liking it just keep in mind if you have dry skin you might have to make some tweaks to make it work for you right now but I also tried and I'm not really including this because um you know I only use it like three times and I did film a video on it but it's hard to call something a legitimate favorite when I just recently got it and I just have a little sample pot of it, but the Fit Glow Foundation is kind of like the moisturizing version of this and I really do like that one. Um, it will be good for me for the winter, but it's so expensive and I'm just going to try to like get through this winter without it um, and get back to using this without, you know, having to mix this with anything, but I'm going to definitely keep in mind that Fit Glow Foundation for uh, maybe next winter, and, and if you have dry skin, I definitely want to give that a little shout out, and then that's it for my makeup -y products. I also have some random things. I have some teas. I don't talk about tea a lot, but I really love tea, and I drink tea 
every single day. Um, I drink the turmeric one very often from Numi because of the benefits of the turmeric. Not necessarily because it's like my favorite tasting or anything. Uh, but in terms of taste, I really enjoy, I got this Tulsi tea, which is supposed to be really great for you. It's a, an herbal tea. And um, so I got it for like the health benefits of it, but it actually, I like the way it tastes. It tastes really good. I can't really describe it as just like an herbal -y kind of taste. I don't know. I really can't describe it. You have to try it for yourself, but it's not bad. It's actually, it's really good and I like it. So um, I enjoy the Tulsi tea. They have different flavors as well. And then also, um, this has been really nice. This is, I know it's all torn up, but it's the chamomile or chamomile, uh, depending on how you say it, lavender. And this is just so nice. I love the smell of lavender and it's just very like relaxing if you want to drink it at the end of the day to like unwind. So I've really been enjoying this one. And then a really random thing that I want to mention to you guys, but I want to tell you about it because so good. Chocolate covered raisins in ice cream. I know that sounds so weird and I make my own ice cream because I think it's really fun um, but and I also enjoy you know being able to control what I put into it and make you know all kinds of funky flavors um, since you know you're the sky's the limit <laughs> when you're making your own ice cream. So one day I made chocolate covered raisins. I don't even know why. I think I melted chocolate to do something with it. And then I had some like melted chocolate left over. And I was like, I don't know what to do with this. And then like, let me throw some raisins in here and make chocolate covered raisins. And then I was like, I don't know what to do with these. And then um, I was making ice cream. I was like, let me throw them into the ice cream. And so they got dispersed in the ice cream and frozen there. And I never really, that didn't even sound like that amazing of a thing to me, but when I tried it, oh my gosh, you guys, so, so good. Because the raisins, they get hard, but not really hard. They're almost like a chewy, like really chewy consistency, and I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just so good. You have to try it. So anyways, I <laughs> just wanted to mention that. And the last thing is um, TMI. So if you don't want to hear about it, you can tune out now because this is the last thing. This is the end of my favorites. Uh, but here's the thing. When it's, it's about periods. You have been warned. When I used to uh, get my period before I had children, I would get horrible cramps. I mean, just like debilitating cramps. I would just be curled up in the bed like crying. But um, after I had children, I don't really get cramps anymore. But now I get migraines. I get these horrible migraines, which I I used to never, ever have, like, a migraine, ever. I've had headaches before, but not migraines. So now I get migraines when it's that time of the month. And my mother does, too, so it's must be kind of genetic. Um, and they're so bad. Like, I had never had a migraine before. So then, like, once I started getting them, I'm like, this really sucks. <laughs> and I'm not a fan of medicine. Uh, not, okay, that's like a weird statement to make. I'm not a fan of taking medicine when I don't like need it to survive. You know, like, yes, if I'm dying, I will have medicine. If I have some kind of infection that needs antibiotics because I will die, I will take antibiotics. You know, but if something is wrong with me and the medicine is just going to cover up the symptoms and I can just suck it up, I will suck it up. And I'm not saying that's like the right way to go about things because obviously sometimes you have to like, what if you're at work, you know, when you have to focus and you have to do things, like you have to take medicine to be able to do that. But I'm just saying the kind of person that I am, like I just, I don't know, I like to suck it up <laughs> instead of take medicine. So I don't take medicine and I just kind of like suffer through it. I mean, obviously my migraines are probably not as bad as some people. I know for some people they're extremely debilitating and they could just lie in bed all day. For me, it just feels like someone's stabbing me in this side. But I can get through it because, hey, I had a baby with no drugs. And um, I try different things. I tried turmeric, which does help a lot. Uh, turmeric and ginger. And then one thing that kind of stuck out at me this time around is my mother-in-law telling me that... Excedrin migraine or whatever is just regular Excedrin plus caffeine. So something about caffeine. 
And so this time around, I don't really drink coffee like ever. I drink it, you know, a few times when I you know, like really, really need it when I got no sleep. I pretty much don't drink it 90% of the time. So um, this time around, I actually, you know, happened to have some coffee when I got my migraine. And I thought, let me try drinking coffee. I know it's not the same as you know, the, the medicine plus the caffeine, but maybe just the caffeine part will do it for me. Who knows? And oh my gosh, you guys, it worked. It really worked. And I don't know if, you know, if you drink coffee every day, if it's going to have the same effect, but I, because I never drink it, it, um, you know, obviously kind of has a stronger effect on me because my body's like, Hey, what is this? And it didn't make it go away like a hundred percent, but it went from like stabbing sharp pain to just like I have a headache now and I can you know function just fine <laughs> so I was really excited even like a mild like it made it a pretty mild headache I would say actually but then it would get bad again so like the caffeine wears off so I would just take like little sips I don't want to drink like a whole thing of coffee because it wasn't early in the morning and I figured like I'm never going to bed if I drink a lot of coffee like during the late part of the day you know so I would just take like little sips and it would make my, you know, migraine so much better. And then it would come back again. And I would take like another little sip. And I got through the day that way. And um, it was just magical. I just wanted to share it with you guys because I never really thought that that would be a thing that would work. And it did for me. I'm not saying it would work for everybody, but I wanted to share. So anyways, that's it. That's my last little tidbit. Um, and yeah. So sorry I don't have a ton of favorites for makeup this time around. I'll try to get some more next month. I am trying more makeup y things, so hopefully I'll have some, you know, exciting stuff to show you guys. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.